So I've been shopping and today I've been to Aldi and Iceland. Um, I needed to do quite a big shop so here it is all laid out. I'm going to do it in several sections because um, as I say I've got quite a bit here to show you. So um, in Iceland I put um, this crispy duck with pancakes. Now um, because I'm the only one who is keto I won't actually eat the pancakes this little set comes with but I will eat the duck on there um, but I wanted to show you just to show that if you do buy anything like this it doesn't matter if you're the only one keto you can still adapt it so you are able to still eat it now the new thing which I did find in Iceland was these frozen frankfurters which is good because that means I can only just take the one out at a time rather than opening a, a jar. Um, let me see what this is saying. A um, hundred grams of this is seven carbs. I'm just to hold it nose. Um, I've bought a whole chicken. Um, this is an extra large one um, because I will use it for more than one meal, so there's that. I bought some frozen um, chicken thighs. Now these have been skinned and boned, and I use these um, if I'm going to do a curry or something in a sauce. These are really easy just to pull out and use. I also bought some chicken wings, staple. And I also got this huge pack of chicken breasts. Now I will divide these up and freeze um, them in twos. So that is that. As I say, this is a large shop, um, mostly for the month. Um, I've also bought some pork belly. Now I love pork belly. It is one of my favorite, favorite meats. I bought some Bacon, this is the thick cut, and also some steak. So I bought some sirloin, really nice there. Might have that tonight. So new to me from Iceland. Um, as I say, this is a combination of Iceland and Aldi, and that is the um, Angus beef burgers. Now, it's, this is a 10 pack, and when you look at the um, let me see if I can get that there for you. So per burger, there is only 1.5 grams of total um, carbs there, so that's not too bad. And each burger is only 294 calories, and the fat content is 20, so that's really good there. So I'm going to test one of these out at lunchtime just to see what it tastes like, but they do look nice. Um, now, the one thing I did want to show you, and let me clear this space, is sausages. Now, I've got three sorts here. Now, my husband picked out these, and these are normal pork sausages, and I just wanted to show you the difference in carbs. Now, for these, per sausage, for one sausage, you are looking at 3.3 grams of carbs in them. With the chicken chipolatas, you'd think they weren't, wouldn't be too bad. And they're not really, well, not too, too bad, but for per sausage, you're looking at 1.8 grams of carbs. So that's a lot less than those, but then you come over to these. Now, these are lovely sausages and um, they're outdoor bread. And the carbs on these, if I can get this to focus on there for you, is 0.5 per sausage. So this has got higher meat content and um, they are really nice. But it just goes to show you, you've really got to look at your labels between all your sausages. Right, okay, let me clear this down and I will show you what 
as I bought. Right, so here is everything for the fridge and um, let's start off with the meats. Now I haven't shown you everything I've bought because uh, as I say some of it isn't for me to eat, it is for the rest of the family. Um, so I am just showing you um, the general stuff which I will be eating. So um, I've picked up some slices of deli beef and chicken breast. Uh, these aren't too bad at all. Um, I do try to stick to home cooked meats, but um, sometimes, you know, it's life, isn't it? You think, oh no, I haven't got anything. Ah, oh, in the fridge, you've already got something already cooked and sliced. Um, the other thing I've got here is some cooked ham trimmings as well. So on here, the um, carbs are two grams per 100 grams on the ham. The beef is showing up as, um, not sure, as 0.5 on the beef. And the chicken breast is showing up, and this is per slice, uh, 0.5 on there. So really, I don't think that's too bad. And as long as I count everything. And then let's move on. I've got the uh, mild pepperoni. I was thinking I might make a fathead pizza this week. So that's what that will go on. And I absolutely love this peppered salami. And if I'm peckish, this is what I will run to. And the carbs on here are 2.8 per 100 grams and how much and this is just over 100 100 grams in this pack it's 135 grams and I only literally just grab maybe one or two slices and just have a munch on them so that is my treat I've got some um, British salted butter now I always use salted butter in everything even um, if I make cakes, in my coffees, this is what I use. So that is really good. I've got some British double cream and on here, it's not as good macros as Asda cream, but it's still quite good. And you're looking at 1.7 grams per 100 mils. So, um, that's total carbs, by the way, so that's nice. And I bought some soured cream as well to make my ranch dressing. And also, sometimes I like it just to um, go on my salads and my avocados, that sort of thing. So that's what I bought there. So let's go to the cheese section. Oh, hold on a moment, this isn't cheese. This is just, I just picked these up very quickly. Um, again, as a snack, if I'm hungry, I'll just pop one, cook it quickly and munch on that. Um, can't really see the carbs there. Um, that's 4.5 grams per 100 grams. Um, but per link, you're looking at 1.6 total carbs. So again, not too bad for a quick snack -a So, as I say, let's get on to my favourite section, the cheese. Now, I have bought some pre-grated cheddar. That is just for ease. Um, normally, I will get a block like this and shred it myself, but I like to have just the easiest way if I haven't got time to shred my own I will use that if I've got time I will shred that that's how I basically use it I've got my mozzarella there to make um, lots of different things to go with fat head dough on your chaffles so that's that I've bought myself some halloumi because I love halloumi some feta which again I like on my salads I've bought some soft cheese and this is going to be this week again for the fat head dough and also I'm going to be doing um, the stuffed baby peppers. Uh, we can't really get jalapenos, um, which I would have preferred, but the baby peppers would do. Now, 
on this um, soft cheese, the total carb is 3.5. So again, not too bad. So that's what I'll be using. Um, I really like the spicy chili cheese, and so I picked up these slices. Um, these were from Aldi, and as I say, I have bought some a block of cheese. So there is some of my fridge items, and let me put this away, and I will get on to the veggies next. Right, so here are all the veggies that I've bought. Just a quick overview here, and let's get down to it. So basically, I've bought lettuce, I've got some frozen sprouts, I've got a head of broccoli, I've really been fancying um, celery with peanut butter, so I've popped some celery in the old basket. I've got some courgettes, I've got some avocados, because we all know we should be eating one of them every day. Um, it's really full of um, magnesium. So, really good there. We've got um, a cucumber, some spring onions. I've got some tomatoes. That's basically really um, for the rest of the family. I did buy some strawberries um, because I don't mind actually having the odd one or two. I've got some mushrooms. And these are the mini sweet peppers which I use instead of jalapenos when I do the poppers. I've got a swede which I turn into chips, mash, I roast them, um, so that is um, really well used and in lots of different ways for me. I've got a large cauliflower head and I was thinking actually I might do um, cauliflower steaks, so let me see how that goes. And I've got some yellow onions. So that is all my veggies. I will put all this away and then we will get to the rest of the shopping that I've bought. Right, so here we are. This is the last part of um, the shopping. <laughs> As I say, I did need to get a lot. Um, so I've, I needed some kitchen towel. Um, I have got some tissues and water, uh, surface cleaner, washing up liquid, shower um, gel, some toilet paper and this is the other things I have bought. Now I really like eggs, um, I've treated myself this time, um, I only buy the free range eggs. Now these ones are blue and I don't know if you've ever seen, it's really coming up in the picture but these are actually blue the shells are blue and these are really rich and creamy eggs I'm looking forward to um, having that I'm not sure how I'm going to do them but I'm going to do it I might actually poach these and have it over some avocado perhaps um, now these ones are the really golden um, the really orange yolked eggs again free range and um, these are really rich so um, I'm looking forward to them again and these are the normal free range eggs which I use as a general rule so actually let me see if it's in the package and I can see it it's really faint so um, I don't think you be able to pick that up on the camera but on these ones the, oh, mm, no, even I can't read that. I was going to read what the um, content was, so I'm going to have to look them up online because I can't read the nutrition values on the, the box. Let me try to see if, ah, I can see this one. So these are the um, orange yolked ones, and the fat, so an average egg has 4.6 grams of fat which 1.3 grams is the saturates there is 0.5 of carbs and 
2.5 grams of protein and they are 66 calories per egg so um, that is those ones sorry I couldn't tell you what those ones were but if you compare that then to these lovely beauties these are, and this is per egg, 78 calories, uh, 5.4 grams of fat with 1.5 grams being the saturates, and the protein is 7.5. So, as I say, all free range. As you can see, lots of different colours, and these are really nice eggs. Um, so as if I bought, I'm going to try and do some um, English fish and chips this week. So I have picked up some coconut oil to actually fry the fish and chips in. Um, I also have olive oil. Now I also, I've got virgin olive oil already in my cupboard, which I put on salads, that sort of thing. But this olive oil I use as a general cooking oil. Um, it is just olive oil, nothing else. A lot of the olive oils are mixed with rapeseed or other oils, so you really need to check your labels on this. But um, in Aldi, that olive oil is just olive oil and nothing else. So that's why I buy it from there. I needed some dried onion granules and some dried parsley. I know I should make my own mayonnaise, but for convenience, I do use the Seriously Good. Um, now this has in it, if I can pull this up, the carbs in here per 15 grams is 0.5 and the fat is 11 grams. So I used that one. I needed some tomato puree. I needed some tin tomatoes. Um, I needed some American yellow mustard some tuna and as I say that is it now you haven't seen absolutely everything um, because I've put the stuff which doesn't really um, concern me away but from both shops it came to 150 pounds which I didn't think was too bad considering how much stuff I've got so there we have it that is the end of my shopping haul hope you enjoyed it and um, I'll see you on the next time I do one. I'm not sure where I'm going to go yet, but it'll be a surprise to both of us. <laughs>